Hi, this is Scooby-Doo, and we're going to uh, talk about writing linear equations in point-slope form. This is an easy lesson you guys watch. Uh, an equation that's written in point-slope form is uh, y minus y sub 1 equals m times x minus x sub 1. Of course, m is slope. And your x1, this point right here, and, and y1, this point right here, is a, a known point that uh, it goes through. Okay, I'll show you. So write an equation in point-slope form of a line that passes through the given point and has the given slope m. Okay, so here it is. So here's my x1 right here, here's my y1, and here's my slope right here, negative 3. Okay, so we're just going to, there's our goal, y minus y sub 1 equals m times x minus x sub 1. So uh, notice I color coded them. This is x sub 1, this is y sub 1. So this green guy goes right here, and the purple guy goes right here. Okay, so let's just plug those in real quick, you guys. So there's that part right there. And then uh, M is going to be the negative 3, so it's going to go right there. So you just plug them in. The color codes tell you where to put them. Okay, that's your answer. Well, not quite. We've got to get rid of this minus and minus 1. Remember, two negatives become a positive right there. So uh, there's your answer right there. Y minus 4 equals negative 3 times X plus 1. Easy, huh? Okay, do, let's do it again. Okay, so there's our goal. There's our color codes right there. This is x1, y1. So the y1 goes here and the x1 goes over here and your slope goes in right there. And there it is right there. That's your answer. Whoops, we've got to fix it. y minus and minus 5 becomes y plus 5. And there we go. Okay, so let's graph these guys. Here's the first one right here. Okay, remember, this is x sub 1. This is y sub 1 right here. So we know that those guys are going to be... Uh, uh, x sub 1 is that 1 because it's x minus x sub 1 and then y minus y sub 1 is kind of like opposites. If that says negative 2, that's going to be a positive 2. And if that says minus 1, this is going to be a positive 1. So let's graph, go over 1, up 2. Okay, so we're going to go over 1, up 2. There's that point right there. Then we're going to use that slope, that 2 thirds. Remember, slope is rise over run. So from this point right here, I'm going to go... I'm going to go up 2, go up 2 over 3, up 2 over 3, okay, because that's what the slope is right here, up 2 over 3. So from this point, up 2 over 3, and then make another point, and then connect them with the line. Don't forget to write the equation of the line uh, right on top of the line right there, or over to it, pointing towards it, okay? Let's try another one. Okay, so here's my x1, y1. Now remember, if this is a, a minus 1, then your x1 is going to be positive 1. But this one's a, a, a plus 2, so my x, my y sub 1 is going to be a minus 2 because it's just like saying y minus a minus 2. So there's my y sub 1 right there. All right? All right, so the, uh, I plotted that point over 1, down 2. And then my other point I'm going to get from that slope, this negative 3, make it a fraction, negative 3 over 1, so we can do our rise over run. So from there, I'm going to go down 3 because it's negative 3 over 1. Okay, put another point right there, connect them, write the equation of the line, and you're done with that. All right, and then uh, write an equation of a, a in point slope form of a line that passes through the given points. Okay, so uh, we're, it's our goal right there. That's point slope form right there. All right, and then uh, they give us two points. Okay, well, remember back uh, from uh, the last chapter, we did slope formula. Remember slope formula? Y sub 2 minus Y sub 1 over X sub 2 minus X sub 1. Remember the X's go on the bottom. Think of an X that has two legs on it right here, whereas a Y only has one leg. The two legs will hold it up better, so the X goes on the bottom to hold up the fraction better. I don't know, whatever silly gimmick you guys can figure. The X's go on bottom, the Y's go on top. Okay, so here's uh, here's y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. That's what that says right there, okay? And we got some negatives and minus signs in there. When you have minus signs, we add the opposites, you guys. So I'm going to add, this says negative 3 minus 3, so it's negative 3 plus a negative 3. And then these two negatives becomes a plus 2. So negative 3 minus 3 is negative 6 over 3 negative 2, and then I'm going to use this x1, y1 right here, because I, I got the slope now, this negative 2 is going to go right there, okay, so I'm going to plug in the x1, y1 uh, in, so if that's x1, y1, then this x goes right here, so it's a minus a minus 2, and this y goes right here, and your slope was that negative 2. Now you could have chose the other point right there, uh, if you would have chose this point to be your x1, y1, then you would have got this answer, and both those are correct answers right there.